What's up everyone? So I want to just talk real briefly about um, the brands that talk about their products are THC free and then you look at their labs and it has 0.1% um, THC or 0.09%. According to the new regulations, especially in Florida, um, if your products have any THC in there, you cannot say it's THC free. It's, it's actually mislabeled and you can get fined, you can get shut down if you're promoting your products as THC free and there's THC in there. It doesn't matter the amount of THC, 0.01%. If somebody uh, takes that every day for a year and their metabolism is on the low compared to others, if their um, the body, you know, the, the, um, the fat in the body is different from another person, they can fill a drug test. And if that person fills a drug test and you state that the product is THC free, not only are you susceptible to um, lawsuits now, you're also susceptible to being fined and being shut down um, in various states. So I implore the community members, and those of you who are selling your products, please be very careful about what you put on your labels. Um, now, so more so than ever, as 2020 rolls around, different states are coming together with the regulations and it's very important for you to do things the right way. So I highly recommend not saying that your product is THC free if there's any THC in there at all. Remember, everybody's different, just like alcohol. Um, one person could drink uh, five, six beers and not get um, tipsy, and one person could have half a beer and get tipsy or drunk. So you have to remember, everybody's different. Um, the last thing I want for you as a community is to be shut down because you're misinformation and you are um, hit with a lawsuit because you are making um, claims that's untrue. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Love you. Um, thank you all. Have a happy 2020. Peace. There are those that said your pain isn't real. Too slow. Too hard. Too soft. Too old, too limited. To them, we say too bad. Everyone deserves good and clean CBD products.